Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another video and today we have the new Sonic 30th Anniversary Party Punch Collector's Box. It comes with the new Party Punch flavor, which I've heard is like a milk flavor, I'm assuming, right? It's like supposed to be a fruity cereal. Uh, we will see. I was thinking they were going to do like just a regular fruit punch, like rebranded as Sonic, but they did a whole new flavor. If you look closely at the box, the background is all like different little screenshots of games from throughout the years. I think that's really, really cool. The bottom is where you can see a lot of it and then also here on the top yeah let's go ahead and open this up here i will start off with the shaker which is probably my favorite thing out of this we have all the sonic boxes now and i think this is probably my favorite sonic shaker uh besides the sanic shaker i think that one just is unique in its own way of course uh, but this was pretty close cool. this 30th anniversary we will be using uh the peach rings shaker for our water portion of the taste test for today uh but let's go ahead and get that tub or actually, before we get to the tub, they did throw in a sticker. I wasn't expecting one. Uh, it has just like the Sonic colorway, and then it has all the different pictures on there as well. And then, of course, we have our tub here. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. It says G Fuel Party Punch. has all the Sonic characters on there. Uh, 40 servings, 15 calories, 140 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar. And I, I believe they described it as like a fruity cereal. I don't know if they're saying it's going to be like Fruit Loops or if it's gonna be like Fruity Pebbles, I, I really don't know. Uh, but we're gonna be trying it in water first and then I'm gonna be trying it in milk as well because if it's supposed to be like a cereal flavor, I'm assuming it's supposed to be in milk. G Fuel's been doing a really good job with these seals. They have been coming off pretty easily now. Uh, let's go ahead and lift the top. All right, so let's take a look. Just like a white powder. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. Um, I don't really like, I don't really like the smell, I'll be honest. Um, kind of smells like Fruity Pebbles more than anything, but then it has like a very, I don't even know how to describe, uh, a very weird smell in the back end. I'm also not 100% sure what color this is going to be, because if it's Punch, I'm assuming red. Um, but if it's supposed to be like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles, I don't think there is a red one, right? Or is there? Um, I'm expecting it to be like a pink color. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused on what that would be. So let me get half, half. Oh gosh, I spilled it. All right, I think that's that's pretty good. It's a little bit over half, but you know, we'll, we'll just get a little bit of a stronger taste on it. And it is blue. I was not expecting blue. All right, yeah, so it is this really nice looking blue color. I just really can't get over the smell. It smells like it already has milk in the powder, which I don't think it does. I'm not seeing like a dehydrated milk or anything like that. It just kind of has that smell, which I think is a little weird. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a smell. Now it smells completely different. It smells um, like blue Gatorade. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. This tastes pretty much like blue Gatorade, like exactly like blue Gatorade. I was actually drinking a cold blue Gatorade earlier today and this tastes exactly like it. So I think that's really strange. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be better in milk or what, what's gonna be different about it, but it tastes just like cold blue Gatorade. What's very weird about this flavor is it tastes like blue Gatorade in the first half and then you get like a cereal taste in the back, but not like a fruity cereal or anything like that. It kind of tastes like cornflakes. Like it's just really weird. I think in water, I'm going to give this like an 8 or 8.5 out of 10. It tastes like a cool blue Gatorade, and that's one of my favorite Gatorades. It just has that weird cereal flavor in that end, and I, I think that's a little bit weird. It's kind of throwing me off. But let me go ahead and put some milk in here, and we'll try it in milk. I don't know how that's going to... I mean, if, if I'm saying it tastes like Gatorade, I don't want to mix Gatorade with milk, but this is supposed to be like a cereal flavor, so we'll go ahead and give it a shot. So we got some milk. I don't, I don't know. I'm not having the... Maybe it'll bring out more of that cereal flavor that I was talking about. Honestly, I, I think this tastes like a blue Gatorade, so it's going to be a little weird. So there we go. I did half a shaker of milk and it got super frothy. So let's go ahead and see. Let me go ahead and give it a smell. It smells a lot more like cereal now, but let's go ahead and give it a, give it a taste. No, 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 no. No. 
I'm gonna say this is a water flavor only in milk. It literally tastes like cool blue Gatorade mixed with milk. It's just, it's not good. So in water, I give this one a eight and a half out of 10. In milk, I say don't even do it because if you get that impression that it's already cool blue Gatorade and then you try it in milk, it's, it's not good, man. But yeah, overall party punch. If you're drinking it the way it's supposed to be drank in water, I give it eight and a half out of 10. I think it's a really good flavor. Kind of similar to cool blue Gatorade, which is gonna be like blue ice or sour blue chug rug, something like that. It's just not sour at all. Um, so really, really good flavor. I still think Peach Rings is one of like the best flavors I've ever put out. So this one's definitely gonna fall second to that one. Uh, and then Chili Dogs, of course, I don't ever wanna see that again. Hey, but that is gonna be it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.